Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to get on to let you all know that I did have to take the carburetor back off the tractor, though uh, I started it earlier today and the gasket was leaking gas. So I had to bring the carburetor back down to the house, though, and here's what the the gasket looked like after I took it off the tractor. You could tell it's pretty dry rotted, so my adoptive father, he bought some of the stuff to make gaskets with, so I went and made one. <laughs> no, so I'm going to have to see if this one here will still cause it to leak. Hopefully not being practically brand new but you just never know so you just have to wait and see tomorrow because I'm not going back here tonight and putting it back on the tractor as you can see it's dark out now but I'm not going to try to get it back on the tractor tonight so I'm just going to wait till tomorrow but other than that tractor was running okay so but just still leaking gas I noticed there was a little bit of gas coming out of the air intake but it wasn't just pouring out like it was so that's a good thing and yeah the lights kind of glaring down on to the camera here but, as you could probably see, I am kind of sweaty. No, that's, I was also doing some weed eating, though, before I was working on the carburetor. But, other than that, that's really all the updates I got for y'all. If you're interested in the Oliver's updates. So, but stay tuned, and I hope to have it fixed soon. Yeah, I know I've been saying that for a little while, but I think I'm almost there. With the Lord's help. No. But with Him helping me, I know I can get it fixed. The scripture says that nothing is impossible with God. No, no word to have have faith in him and to trust that he can help us. So, thank you all and may God bless.